Hi, I'm Trish with Australian Labradoodles Midwest Connection. I'm again sitting in the puppy pen. This will be the last time that you'll see me videoing the puppies in here. They're going to be moving to a bigger area now that's uh, probably close to three times the size they're in now. So I'm here with two litters. The first one is going to be Molly and Keepers. They are about four and a half weeks old. Very bitey right now. Uh, excuse me, five and a half weeks old. Sorry about that. Um, they're getting real mouthy and um, biting at times because their teeth are coming in and that feels good to them to chomp on you. So throughout this uh, little taping, I'm going to show you a demonstration of no bite because I'm sure they're going to bite at me at some point because they're doing that now. Or if they pull on your clothes, you do this no bite. Um, right here, Rose, if you want to, here's a, here's a puppy biting on my toe and this is what we do. No bite. And it, I don't know if you heard, it made a little beep, a little um, whine sound. I'm not squeezing the nose, I'm holding it until it feels uncomfortable and they pull away. So um, that's what you do when there's any biting. Uh, the other puppies you're hearing is the other litter of Anna's that I'll get to in a minute. And they're all excited because they are now old enough to see and get excited when they see the other litter of puppies. So that's why it's so loud and a lot of commotion going on here. So I'm going to go through this, this pack of puppies and show you each one so you know who's is who's and how big they've gotten in another week's time here. So let's see. I'm going to do Shiloh first if I can find her. Yep, right here. This is Shiloh, our beautiful Shiloh, beautiful girl. Um, the puppies still have the little bit of uh, moisture by their eyes due to the teething again. Uh, Shiloh's adorable, cute, cute puppy. Uh, hair is very fleece coated, coming in very nicely. She's just a gentle little pup and growing, growing really nicely. Nice, solid puppy here. That's Shiloh. Now I'm gonna do another demonstration of no bite, no bite. And see how it pulled away? That's when it had enough and it got it. No bite. You have to do this repetitively at, when they do this biting because it's just something they learn then not to put their teeth on you. Okay, that was Shiloh. And now I'm going to show you Minnie. Is the pink collared girl. I can find Minnie here. Come here, you. Yep, that's Minnie, of course. No. No? Um, oh, is this Oh, here it is. I'm sorry. Here's Minnie. Beautiful red Minnie. Just adorable. Um, her ears are so fantastic and her face is just adorable. This is Minnie. Red fleece coat. Very normal looking at this point with the size and the texture of the coat and the, uh, the fleeciness is very much what these two uh, parents produce. Beautiful stop on Minnie. And she's got eye contact with me. It's so cute. She's looking at me out of the corner of my eye. Very alert and very adorable puppy. Hi, Minnie. This is Minnie. It's a Minnie. That's our Minnie. Okay. Now, as the puppies are chewing on my paperwork here, uh, the next one is Jazz and the orange collared puppy. Let me find Jazz. Yeah, right here. Jazz has really got the teeth with the wet by her eyes. Again, perfectly normal. That's going to go away. It actually feels wet. It's That's just how it is. And uh, Jazz has got the beautiful stop. Great stop on her. Hi, sweetie. Um, no bite. No bite. They're chewing me up here. So, again, this is Jazz with almost a white coat. Stunning and beautiful. She is just adorable. Very, very nice personality. She's just very content. Nice, healthy, solid puppy. This was Jazz. Okay? I'm trying to talk louder over these other puppies. Um, the next one is Rory. Rory is our light blue collared puppy. Uh, where's the light blue? Um, I'll find her. Him? Oh, her, Rory. Even though it's a boy's name, that's many times people choose different names for different different puppies. Okay, or different sexes. This is our Rory. Just a hunk. Oh, just a hunk of love here. Look at that stop and that face is something to die for. Rory is stunning, and uh, we 
were waiting for this little girl to be adopted, and that family that got Rory is one lucky family because she is just fantastic looking. Beautiful face, and just very alert and looking around. Beautiful white cream coat and a very fleece coat. So this is our lovely Rory. She's got a little white streak right down to here on her head. Beautiful, beautiful puppy. Okay, that's Rory. And by the way, all the puppies are sold now, so there's no more available from either litter. Next one we've got here is Cannoli. Oh, I just love that name. Cannoli is our boy. And let me find our big boy. There we go. Come here, chunk of change. This is our Cannoli. Just love the name Cannoli. Hi, sweet pea. He's just so alert and looking around. Beautiful apricot ears. Very, very attentive. Wants to see in by the other puppies here. Cannoli is a big, nice, big boy. He is a healthy guy. Very, very stunning. Great stop and great face on Cannoli. So that's Cannoli, everyone. Okay. And then we've got Shotzi with the dark green collar. I think she's chewing on my foot right here. Yep. Come here, you, before I give you a no bite. This is Shots, Shotzi. Shotzi is so sweet and a little bit, little smaller than the other boy, that's for sure. Shotzi's a girl, but she's a little bit smaller. She's also got a white streak that goes up to about here on her face. She's following my finger. Hi, Shotzi. Her little tail's wagging. She's a happy girl. Who's got you? Who's got you, pumpkin pie? Oh, you're giving all those kisses today. Shotzi's adorable. So that's our little Shotzi. Oh my goodness, you guys are noisy. They came to life, that other litter. Holy cow. Okay, and, and then, ouch, no bite. And then we've got Layla. Layla is our apricot one over here, I think. Is that Layla? No, uh, no collar. Where's this right here? Oh, right here by me, I'm sorry. Here's our Layla. Layla is a stunning puppy. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. Who is that mama's baby? She is adorable. And uh, Layla's just a, just a little smaller like the other girls are. She's right in there with the rest. Okay, no bite. I have one having lunch on my toe there. So this is Layla, beautiful apricot ears, great stop, and that face is, you just wanna pinch her cheeks. She is adorable. This is Layla. Okay, so that's it for that litter. Now we're gonna start on Anna and Dublin's litter, which is right here in the box, in the basket, I should say. And um, all these have been adopted. The one puppy that I was considering holding back for my guardian program, I'm not. And so she has been adopted out to a very lucky family. I'm still waiting for a name for that puppy. Is that one this one? Uh -huh. oh. oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. And this is that little little girl. This is uh, the one that I was going to hold back for my breeding program. Again, she's got the little bit of wet by her eyes. All normal. Beautiful color of deep red. And um, she's got this stunning rose-colored nose that I just love when I see that in the pups. That's a very unusual nose color. A little white on the tip of her paw. Stunning, loving little puppy. She is so cute. What do you think, baby? Now these puppies are again a week younger than the, the litter I just showed you. So they're a little bit smaller and not quite as active. I like these no bite chewing away on me here. So this one we're still waiting for a name for. Okay, then I've got grab my glasses. Somebody walked away with my glasses. <laughs> right the chewing on my glasses. Okay, um, the next one is Brisby. Brisby is cream with the violet collar. Uh, oh, wrong litter. Sorry. Uh, here we go. This is Brisby. Brisby is so cute. Just stunning. Nice, beautiful features. A great stop. Looking around, very alert. Little white tip paws. Very nice stop, which again is the nose. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful puppy. That's Brisby. Brisby's our little boy. One of them from this litter. 
Okay, so this was Brisby. Oh my goodness, you guys. Then we've got Gracie, and she's the lime green one right here. This is Gracie. Hi, sweet pea. Hi, Gracie. How's that baby? How is that baby girl? Oh, she's so cute. That's Gracie. Fantastic temperament. She's just so content and looking around. No bite. And she's just got the cutest little stop on her face. And little short nose and real dark ears. Very, very beautiful puppy. That is Gracie. That's our Gracie. Okay. Um, we'll get to the one that's crying in a minute. Mocha is the teal color puppy. It's okay, pumpkin. Um, the color is off. Oh, oh, that's right. That's her. This is Gracie. Mocha. We we just oh, excuse me. This is Mocha. We just lost Mocha's collar in the last hour. It fell off. We're gonna. We're just in the process of switching collars because they're getting so. Um, their heads are getting too big for the small size, so we're moving up to the bigger size collars. So this is Mocha, and Mocha is um, almost like a light brown, beautiful puppy. Nice white tipped back paws here, and a couple little tips on the white on the front paws. She's got um, almost a completely black nose. It's still filling in a little bit. Very alert. Eyes are open. What a cutie! You have a cute face, you. Adorable little puppy here. This is our Mocha, which that name is so fitting. She looks exactly like a Mocha. Okay. Oops, somebody's chewing on my leg. Stop that. No biting. Okay, then after Mocha, we have... Let's see here. Hey, hey, hey. Taya. Taya is our orange-collared little girl, and she also is missing her collar. But this is our Taya, and she's going to get a new collar in the very near future. She's raring to go, she says. This is our Taya. Taya's hanging on to me. Look at her. She's got her little paws wrapped around me. I'm not going to let you go. I'm not going to let you go. Taya is just stunning with this adorable little, little bit of uh, apricot around her face and her ears. No biting. Hey, no bite. And she's just looking at everybody. What do you think? There's so much stuff going on. Everybody's crying. This is Taya. Taya is a beautiful little girl. I'm going to show you Taya. Great fleece coat. Stunning stop on her. And very cute little face and eyes. White tipped paws. This is Taya. Very cute name. Taya, okay? And let me get my glasses again, you guys. Hey, no bite, no bite. And then we've got the last one is Dublin the, the third, which is pretty funny because uh, we've got obviously Dublin, my Dublin, and then one other Dublin's been named after Dublin, and that was Dublin the second, and this is Dublin the third. Hi, sweet pea. Beautiful. Oh, she, he is so dark. He is the darkest red I have ever seen on one of my Australian Labradoodles. His face is just so dark. What? Are you the sweetest boy? He's so cute. He's adorable. Just adorable. All I can say is this is like, these are all such perfect puppies of the Australian Labradoodle breed. Beautiful fleece coats, non-shedding, very alert for their age. And uh, just moving and shaking, as you can see, the litter in the background hasn't slowed down since I started. You are just stretching your neck to see me, huh? What a cutie. So again, this is our Dublin. Dublin the third. And that's it for seeing all the puppies. I'll just, uh, just mention again that um, Billie Jean is due to have a litter uh, this coming weekend when, oh, no biting. I'm just waiting for the phone call to say they're on their way with her and we're going to have puppies again. Billie Jean's been bred to Dublin, so we'll be having blacks and reds. Um, Billie Jean's a mini, so we're going to have minis and mediums in size. I have, I uh, believe, five applications in for those puppies, so if you're interested, we're hoping she'll have more than five, but regardless, to get on my wait list for my future litters, and the ones that I believe are going to be coming down the pike are Cooper and Dublin. 
and I want to say Bindi, um, but I'm not positive. I have to check with check my notes. But regardless, there's lots of activity coming down uh, towards the end of the year, and that will then be ready for our spring litters. So if you're interested in any Australian Labradoodles in the near future, don't hesitate. Send in your application and your deposit to get on my wait list. You would go to my Contact Us tab at the top of the page, of any of my pages, and send me a little uh, note telling me that you're interested in one and how to get the process started. And then I'd send you the appropriate forms, and that's how we start the whole thing. So um, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was pretty active, uh, which is always fun to see, everybody moving and shaking. And like I said, next week we'll be in a different area, and you'll see their next little step as they've matured and grown and where they go. And by the way, these puppies down here of Molly and Keepers have been outside already. Uh, which has been wonderful with the weather warming up the last few days, and they're going to get out again this afternoon. So um, they're definitely getting used to going potty and poop outside, and that's a great thing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful week, and thank you, and uh, we'll talk to you in another week. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.